Today I'm going to teach you what objects are and how to create them and use them and access them and print them out and do whatever you want with them. So let's get started. So I got this index.html that's linking to the JavaScript file that we're going to be working in. So as you know, when we create variables, we have a name of the variable and we have a value. Now, what objects are, are a collection of those names and values. You can think of it as a bag with the related information. So, how do we create an object? You could use brackets. And why I say you could use brackets is because there's different ways to create objects. And I'll show it to you, but let's start with this one. So, as we had the variable Alexander, and I told you objects are collection of names and values or bag with the related information. I made it as a comments just so you remember it. And now I'm defining a property and a value. And you can have different types of values and you can even have an object within the object. You can have another name and value. So for example, location, we can create another object in here. City, San Francisco, state, And of course, it doesn't have to be all strings. It can be like such as zip code, let's say. It can be a number as well, or anything you want. So location here is an object as well, and that's called an object within an object, but the proper term is nested object. So location is a nested object inside person object, okay? So uh, other ways to create this object would be using new object. You could also just have an empty object like this as well. And then you can start assigning properties to the object and so on, right? So, but how do you access this object properties? How do you print them out? Well, it's pretty easy. So you call the object name, which is person object, and then you can access, let's say, the name using brackets. And that should print out Alexander as well. So we're gonna have two Alexanders since we're printing Alexander here, and now we're printing the object Alexander here as well, objects property. Boom. Right, and as you can see, it says line 21, which is right here. So what's next is how do we access the nested location? For example, you wanna access the zip code. Oh, you do it the same way. You just type in location, and then what do we wanna access in the location? Let's say zip code. and that should print out the zip code. Boom. There's also another way to access the objects using the dot. So for example, let's say we want to print out uh, style. Instead of using brackets, you use a dot. Boom. Oh, well, I didn't mean to write style style. I meant to say savage. So now it should print out savage. Let's try that. Boom. And that's how you create objects and access them and print them out. And I'm gonna do another video about how to delete properties 
and how to find out if a property exists, if the name value exists in the object. Make sure you subscribe and like so you can get a video. All right, talk to you soon.